Okay, I'm gonna start by building my bullseye. I'm gonna start with the purple first. I am using spring water and it is not quite room temperature. It's a little bit more cold than I usually have it. Um, so I guess you would say this is an experiment to see how the nail polish will react, how it spreads in the water and all that. So I'm gonna continue building my bullseye and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some zigzags this way. And they are not close together. Then I'm going to make them the long way. A little bit closer together. Just pulling the colors together really, it almost reminds me of a tie-dye. Um, okay, so this is enough to dip two nails and I'm going to attempt to dip these two. And I've already prepped them in white and I used the chapstick instead of the tape. Um, and that's simply because sometimes when I use tape, I'm going to go ahead and dip and talk. Um, when I use tape sometimes, I don't get the amount of coverage that I like. It doesn't get down into the sides or the cuticle area as much as I'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Okay, and don't forget to remove your nails slowly so you don't get those water bubbles. And let's pan in as we come up. And those came out really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this uh, manicure and I'll clean these nails up and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly show you how to clean this up and just the difference between the tape and the uh, chapstick and as you can see it just pretty much wipes off I'm being careful around the cuticle area for obvious reasons I don't want to um, wipe my design off um, I have a cotton ball that is soaked in regular old um, not old <laughs> but um, no polish remover and you see, as you can see my hands are clean and then um, I have here a little bit of cotton on the end of an orange stick and you just take that and then you wipe around your cuticle area. So I know with tape, you know, it's just, you know, peel it off and you're done. However, sometimes when you don't wait for it to dry or whatever, you can peel your design right off. And that's not cool. You have to start all over or you have to peel it in. So this is just an alternative. Sometimes I use tape. Most of the time I use tape, but I just wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> another alternative to um, using tape. So I'm going to continue cleaning up the rest of my nails and I'll be back. Alright guys, so this is the end result. Here are my nails and um, it came out pretty well but you know as I was more than halfway done, I have noticed that uh, it looks a little similar to something I have done before. Um, 
I have almost 200 videos so you know this happens it can happen uh, you know especially when you're doing mostly nail videos nail design videos it can definitely happen so uh, if this looks similar to you you know hey um, just change up the colors and then it'll be different uh, this is how this design came out I was hoping to get something a little bit more um, where the purple came out like on this nail let me get closer for you guys uh, because the purple is really really pretty especially in person but it got a little bit muted the purple did and it um, actually turned a little bit uh, towards the brown color in person it's not brown but on camera it's looking like it's more brown but anyway um I was I had a comment recently that I need to do more spring designs so um, this was intended to be a spring design so I guess you know it could fall under fall especially like if you get something like this result which is a little bit darker than the others um, but you know hey I try <laughs> So I'm being silly, so I'm a little tired. Um, so definitely check out the uh, links at the bottom, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.